Cause I done seen in a while Oh my, you the, you the, you the, you the, you the, you the, you the best Cause I done seen in a while Oh my, shorty, oh Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now, what you can do That's why I'm mine, spend my life with you I wanna please you, in any way I can I wanna share my world, don't you understand? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kalia, but y'all can call me K. And here on my channel, we talking all beauty things. I'm a hairstylist, so I'm here to give y'all the hair deets. And if y'all liking what y'all hear, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because we finna get lit up here, okay? But so y'all, I'm back, and today we are working with Asteria hair. Y'all, I'ma just tell y'all now, I love this hair. Like this hair is top tier. Like, look at that lace, HD lace. 26 inch i think it might be a 24 inch yeah it's definitely a 24 inch <laughs> black straight want a density all of that like thick all the way down to the bottom like yes love this hair they also gave us some little gifts it came with a little headband some lashes and our wig caps and another little headband and y'all, it came with another wig, another one. I had to show y'all. I know y'all probably looking at it like, ain't nobody about to wear this, but it did come with another wig. Okay, so now let's get into it. Let's get into it. So first thing first, y'all, what I did was I went ahead and started to part off the parts I wanted to do the skunk stripes at. And right here, you'll see I spray a little bit of some got to be well it's the even spray but just to move all those hairs back easily for me so when i go into part everything will be smooth going in the same direction and as i'm parting you know all those little flyaways is not gonna cause me any problems so here i'm just parting down the middle because i knew originally i wanted to wear a middle part and I just wanted like everything to be even so I just first put it off in the middle and then for the skunk stripes I literally just thought about like where I wanted it to be on my head it will probably be better if you part it while it's on your head versus you doing it like this so you can get like the perfect measurements but for me I kind of just eyeballed it so I'm gonna speed it up a little bit and y'all could just see me do this one side and then we're gonna move on to the next step. I'm gonna separate this up into two. So when I go on with the bleach, I'm not trying to like get this full patch covered in one go. I wanna get it fully saturated. I wanna section it off, make sure. Cause like that right there is like a good enough section in order for all the hair to get coated. So yeah. Okay, so now you're going to see me here grooming out our foil. All the products that you need for this whole process is listed down below. And so now I'm literally just going to measure out how long I think I need the foil to be. And then I'm going to go ahead and make the bleach and developer mixture. I did use 40 volume developer, but I suggest y'all use 30 so like y'all can like really wait enough time to just see because like with the 40 it is going to develop fast but if you can't do it fast like like if you can't do all your sections fast then i wouldn't suggest that but so here basically i just ripped off a piece of foil and i placed it directly under the section that i parted off and basically i don't think i did it for this one but what you're going to have to do is you are going to have to flip the top of the foil to make like a little fold right there up at the top and then you are going to want to scoot that fold right under the section of hair and then that is how you're going to place like the hair on top and then start painting the bleach on the hair it's just going to make everything easier for you and then once you are done doing that you can then 
wrap up the hair and it will process inside the foil so yes here i am just showing y'all how like i am really trying to saturate this bleach everywhere like i'm spreading out the hair i even showed y'all i even got under the section like you want to make sure you don't have no black spots no black streaks no black nothing for the skunk patch you want the whole thing blonde and so for here you will just see how easy it was for me to just drop down that last section and just paint it straight on top and i just did the same thing spread it out make sure i got it evenly saturated and once you get done with that you are basically going to just want to flip the bottom of the foil to the top of the hair book in one side and book in the other and i'm about to show y'all that very shortly but yes that is how you are going to secure the hair let it process and with using 30 volume developer you're going to want to let it sit for about like 20 30 40 minutes maximum do not over bleach y'all's hair because it will turn out gummy way past 6 13 and you don't want that so that's why you got to keep watching it Okay, y'all, so after that, after I let it process, I went ahead, rinsed the hair, washed it, and now I am deep conditioning it in a water and silicone mix. I put, like, a good couple scoops of silicone mix. I really thought I showed y'all. I, I don't know why it's not on here. But I put, like, a good two scoops of silicone mix in some hot water just from the sink. And I just mixed that in there and I saturated the hair in there before I dipped it in the second process of our bleaching. So here I literally just made another regular schmegler bleach and developer mix with 40 volume developer. And I just put that in the water. And this is just going to set that brown tone of the hair that I had. So, yeah, I'm just making sure I get it fully saturated in this bleach because I want, I don't want no black. I want chocolate brown. That's what I want. That was the go. And so I just fully saturated it in there and I let that sit for about 30 to 40 minutes around just basically like I literally, I literally just kept checking it and I think it was about 30 to 45 minutes is when it finally turned chocolate brown. And after that, y'all, I just went in again and I shampooed and conditioned it. And this is how it came out. Like, it came out so cute. Like, I really wanted to wear it like this. But I knew I just wanted to add that pink on them skunk blonde parts. And yes, it was just super cute. And so here, y'all, we finna get into the dyeing. So I got a bow and I just put a little plastic black on top of the bow. This is going to just help. For the cleaning process, I can just get the plastic back up out the bow and boom, I don't gotta rinse, clean, nothing out. But so here, I just showed y'all, I just went ahead and reparted off the sections with some clips. And this is and this is how I did the back side. So, yeah. And basically, y'all, so just so y'all know, so dyeing and bleaching, they whole different things bleach is very much thicker this that is also the dye that i use the neon peach but so as i was saying bleach and dye two different consistencies so with bleach you can probably get away with a lot of stuff but with dye you is not gonna get far because dye is very much runnier and i also went ahead and added some conditioner inside the mix just to make the color a little lighter and also to make the dye a little thicker it's just another method that you can use. You do not have to do this. It also conditions your hair again as well. So that's another little pro tip. So yeah, as you're painting the dye on the hair, you want to be very, 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 very careful. Very careful. Also too, you can also protect the lace by spraying gossip be on it and blow drying it with hot heat. But I didn't do that because y'all with HD lace, even if you get a little splat on it, y'all, you're not even going to be able to notice because that's how good the light sees. And I also just been doing this for a little minute, so I just trusted myself to, like, not get it on the lace as much. But y'all can see the technique that I am using. It can get very messy if you don't take small, small little scoops and don't do it nice and strategic. Like, you got to part off the hair, get those thin sections, get real close to the root but do not touch the roof like you know 
so yeah. And here I wanted to come in and show y'all how it came out and how I decided to secure the ones with the dyeing because it was harder to secure it versus the bleaching ones. But so yeah, it did get a little messy, but this is how it came out. Still came out really bomb. And I didn't show this, but what I did, y'all, is I went ahead and took the wig off the wig cap, placed it on my little table back there, and went ahead and bleached the knots as well. So when I rinsed everything out, y'all, the knots was already bleached. And this is how it came out. Like, y'all, this is the most favorite hairstyle I've ever done. Like, I love this color. This color was top tier. So here, I'm just about to show y'all a little updated plucking method that I do. Now, y'all, I literally just pluck what need to be plucked instead of over plucking. Like, I used to be over plucking. It, it, it might have not looked like it, but just my method, it was just, it was just doing too much. So, y'all, literally, all y'all need to do is part off the section where it is getting thick at. Like, you will literally see me part off where it starts to get thick at and let the thin part the actual pre-plucked part of the wig out in the front and then i'm literally just going to plug it behind that so it can look nice and smooth behind the front hairs and then i'm still using my she is bump wicks waxed it actually no this is a whole new method whole new method so yeah y'all the hair is completely dry right now and what i do is i just part it off go in with my she is bone wax stick spray that spray which is called sebastian striper i'm so sorry but if you don't have an account at cosmo proof i think is what it's called um you cannot get that spray at the discounted price that they sell it at in that store but they do sell it um, at Kroger, I'm not for sure about Amazon, but I'm pretty sure they have it on Amazon. But yes, I love this Sebastian spray. Like, it's the best hairspray ever. It has a very nice hold, but it does not have a residue at all. That's why I love it. Going in with the wax stick, followed by the hairspray and the hot comb, y'all. It just gives me the best pullback as possible. So when I go in and start plucking with these handy dandy tweezers, it's just going to look how it is going to look on the client's head versus it being looking wet and it's not going to be wet, you know, on the client. But I still believe that you can still get a nice, good plucking session in if the hair is wet. But I love this method way better. So, yes, you would just see I'll just keep going back and forth, back and forth. I feel like everybody kind of get the concept of plucking now. But just remember to go slow at first so you can get a real good feel of it. And then when you notice you can start to pick up the pace, then that's when you can start picking up the pace. And yes, y'all, I was the hair came out so soft, like just everything. The color to the knots, everything. It's just it just came out so perfect. And right here you will see I am finally done plucking up behind those hairs and y'all we not done plucking because also too like the front of the hair it came very thick and it's like it just depends on the hair if that's a good thing or a bad thing and y'all the hair was so bomb so it was a good thing like who doesn't love a thick full like full hairline front of like who don't love that so yes, that's how the wig came, but I just had to go in and pluck it a little bit more after this. Like look, y'all will even see right here, I even had to go back in, like I was not playing. Look at that, look it's so sleek, like that wax stick and hairspray. Follow up with the hot comb method, don't got nothing on the little, on the little water bottle fragment, like I'm telling y'all. It had to come out very natural looking and it for sure did like look at that look at that hairline like it looks so perfect it looks so perfect so yeah
yes y'all if you made it this far thank you so much for watching just know y'all i'm coming with the kiss of the sea so okay stay tuned for part two if you would love to see how i installed this beautiful wig from asteria care and yes y'all stay tuned for part two first things first let me get that introduction we on a long road